I want to use this example to illustrate the use of the STEAM 2000 program. Uh, this is identical to the example that we used to illustrate the, the GAS 2000. And these programs are very similar from the standpoint that they uh, have the same uh, group of elements available for nodes. Uh, the setups are the same. The only differences really are the system data. So uh, I would suggest that you review the two AVIs, GAS1 and GAS2, for the use of the GAS program. And here we'll just uh, point out the principal differences. Uh, of course, the system is laid out using the procedures uh, that we uh, use for all the Pipe 2000 modules. And uh, we then enter data. The system data for gas is shown here. Uh, it's much more restricted than it is for general gases. We only have two choice of units, pounds per hour and 1,000 BTU per hour. Uh, this example uses pounds per hour. We also need to enter a reference pressure, which is basically the highest pressure in the system, and a uh, global load factor, which would allow us to change all the demands by this factor, and which defaults to 1. So when we go back to the map, uh, we would, of course, make sure that there's data entered for every pipe. Uh, so uh, this shows pipe data for every node. There would be data entered. And then we'd be ready to run the analysis. And again, we would want to do an error check first. And then we would uh, do the analysis, which has been completed. And uh, look at the results in the report. Now, this particular analysis, uh, we set up a number of global factors. As we can see them in here, uh, going from the initial 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 7. So we have a total of seven cases. And when we run the analysis and get the report, we could scroll down through the report. In this particular uh, problem there's of interest is in the very last case, if we go down through there, we'll see that the uh, pressures were low and uh, choking conditions were reached. So we couldn't uh, get a calculation for that high global demand factor. Uh, but again, we can look at the results. We can look at uh, turn on labels. Uh, we can turn on uh, plots and look at the plots. Here's a plot of this uh, pressure at, at this particular node. Uh, up to the fifth case, the sixth case, we couldn't run. So using the STEAM 2000 module is uh, uh, very straightforward. and. Uh, this example will uh, help you uh, go through the steps required to uh, do a successful modeling.